Hi everyone. Um, so today I'm here with another makeup video. I just felt like it, you know. I finished my work early today and then I was like, what am I gonna do? And then I was like, a video. Me and Bobby are doing like a little date night tonight. So that's what I'm doing my makeup for. I actually have a reason today. Weird, right? But it is raining pretty aggressively. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's like really rainy and gloomy outside. So if I were to do like heavy makeup, it would just come melting off anyways. So even though I wanna look really cute, I don't think I can go too aggressive. But also I probably will because it's me and I don't, I don't like do natural makeup. I don't think so. Eh. And the story that I will be telling you today because you guys know that I don't film makeup videos without first telling a story, you know, really getting down to the nitty gritty of my life and showing you and sharing with you all my traumas. Today's trauma stories, yes, I said stories, are drunk stories. The most embarrassing drunk stories I have of myself and I promise you, they're bad. Eh, hope you enjoy. Um, first, I'm just gonna moisturize my lips a little bit with some Vaseline because I need it. I just realized I forgot a mirror. But I feel like that's something important, right? Okay, I got my mirror. Okay, cool. Next thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. This one has SPF in it. Even when it's rainy and gloomy, guys, put on your sunscreen, okay? You can get burned, you can get skin damage, you can age quicker, even in the gloomy weather. So always use sunscreen. I got this one just at, um, I think Walgreens. It's Milani SPF BFF SPF 30 primer. The first story I'm gonna tell is actually the story of the first time I got drunk. So yeah, the first time I got drunk, not a happy story for me, you know, not the greatest memories. And I know today people are used to, you know, fucking sixth graders drinking and, you know, doing all that stuff, but I didn't get drunk or really just have any alcohol until my sophomore year of high school so like i i just didn't so i guess like when i went to go get drunk for the first time i kind of didn't understand that like i didn't have a tolerance for alcohol at all so i got really drunk uh, so for my face today i'm going to just be using concealer um, I'm gonna put it all over my face, but I just don't feel like using a foundation. So I'm using this one, you know, this one's super popular, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This one is more yellowy, which matches like the rest of my body a little bit better. And then I'm gonna mix it with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, you know, the trusty dusty NARS concealer. Also, my nose keeps fucking running and I'm not gonna be able to really wipe it once my makeup's on, so. <laughs> I have a booger. I always end up having like a fucking booger and I never notice until I'm editing it. It's so annoying, but anyways, back to the story. So I was a sophomore the first time that I got drunk, okay? I, yeah, I was a sophomore in high school. The place that I got drunk was the beach. My grade, my class was doing like a bonfire. It was... Mm, I think it was like the middle of the year and we were just at the beach and Sophomore year is when I met my boyfriend Robert who I'm still dating now And so when this story takes place, we've been dating for like a couple months. Yes, we're at the beach We're having a bonfire. Everything's going good. I don't think I planned on getting drunk that day. I mean If I'm being honest, I think I was naive enough to think that there wouldn't even be alcohol I thought we were just a group of ragtag kids having fun at the beach but I, I guess not. So there was definitely alcohol. And the embarrassing thing is, I'm pretty sure that the amount of drunk that I got was really just off of beer. And like maybe three cups of it. It could have been mixed with other hard alcohol, but to be honest, I don't remember clearly. And I know it was my first time drinking but still that's so fucking embarrassing. Three cups of beer, are you kidding me? 
after my three cups of beer, I was fucking plastered. Okay, I was out of my mind. I was off my rocker. I, there was nothing about Rachel that was still Rachel. At first it was like, you know, I was really drunk, but I was, I was still a blast. Like I was having fun. I wasn't being like too crazy. I wasn't being disruptive or anything. Um, I probably was annoying, but no one seemed to tell me or care. So I was, everything was going kind of okay. And then I don't know, maybe I kept drinking. I don't remember how much more I drank after my three cups of beer or if I, if I even drank any more after that. But for some reason, the drunk just got worse. Like I wasn't mellowing out and this is where it goes downhill. So basically I run towards the ocean screaming, I'm gonna drown myself. And not even in like a desperate, suicidal, sad way. I was scream laughing, I'm gonna drown myself. I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer under my eyes. I am gonna mix in a little bit of the yellow so it's not too white, but I just want to put a little bit more under my eyes. It wouldn't be a Rachel video if there wasn't some lighting issues. Okay, let's just stick with this. So, I am running towards the ocean, screaming that I'm gonna drown myself. And I think like three of my guy friends had to run towards me and tackle me onto the sand and sit on me. Um, I think that's when my other friends watching this all go down realize that, okay, maybe Rachel's like not in the best place to be out in public right now. Maybe, maybe she should not be here. Maybe she should be taken care of. So then one of my friends decides to call Rob because my friends aren't fucking snitches. They're not gonna call my parents to come get me. So they call Robert and Robert comes immediately to pick me up from the beach. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. So I wanna explain. Now when I get drunk, Robert's like the most kind and caring boyfriend. He thinks it's funny, he takes care of me, He just is always on my side. But that was the first time I'd ever gotten drunk and I think his concern was just overwhelming. And so he was kind of angry at me for letting myself get to that point where I was put in like a dangerous situation. So when he showed up, he was not happy with me. He thanked my friends and then we were off. But I was fighting him the entire time because I did not want to leave. So I was fighting him all the way back to the car and he was just not having it. I wasn't having it either, but I was drunk, so. Okay, so I'm not gonna cream contour like I usually do, but I'm gonna use my Hoola bronzer to contour a bit and also just bronze up my face. So we finally get back to the car and I start blabbing about a Sarah needing my help and I need to go find her and that my friend Sarah is just not doing well. I don't have a Sarah in my life. I think the first story I did doing my makeup, the stalker story, I used Sarah as one of my cover names for my friends, but I don't have a Sarah in my life. And back then, like during this drunk situation, I was just saying that Sarah needs my help and she's my best friend and she's gonna be in trouble if I don't get to her. I don't know a fucking Sarah. So Robert knows that I don't know Sarah. He knows all my friends. We all go to the same school just because he's like two years older than me, but he, we all go to the same school, you know? So like, yeah. He's just kind of letting me like blab on because what is he supposed to tell me that Sarah doesn't exist? I kick him in the throat. So he knows he can't take me home. Like my parents don't, well, they knew I didn't drink because I didn't, but they didn't know that today I was gonna drink. I don't think I knew I was gonna drink, but for sure, even if they found out I drank, they cannot see me this drunk because I'd never be able to leave the house again. So he knew that not to take me home. So we drove to his grandma's house. Um, I guess they were having like a party there and his mom was there. So we get to his grandma's house and his mom comes out and I'm still drunk out of my mind, but for some reason, I'm not like too crazy. It's like, it's like the normal Rachel peeked out a little bit to save drunk Rachel's ass and told her to just shut up and just sit there. Um, so while Robert was talking to his mom through the car window, I was just sitting there. I didn't say a word, which is the best thing that I possibly could have done. I didn't meet Robert's mom right away when we started dating also. So this is like, 
a couple weeks of knowing her and this is how she's seeing me i was mortified the next day but at that time i was just like and a little bit like but she was so sweet and so understanding i mean like she's not one of those moms that assumes that their kids don't drink even when they were sophomores so she kind of just like understood really well what i was going through and she was just so nice about it she didn't judge me she didn't try to lecture me nothing she was just the sweetest 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 ever about it okay i'm done with my bronzer sorry my camera is like cutting my head off my tripod for some reason is just like falling down and it won't go up and i don't have anything else to like put it on never mind i think i found something else to put it on okay i think that's a little bit better Okay, next I'm going to do my Rare Beauty Blush. Please focus. What the fuck? Focus. There we go. This is in the shade Love. Focus. There we go. So Robert's mom's idea was to take me to her twin, Robert's aunt's house. And I think she had that idea because... The rest of the family was at the grandma's house. They were all inside. So for some reason, Linda, Robert's aunt, didn't go. So her house was just her in there. Her husband and her two kids weren't there. So that was like the perfect place to go because we have a little bit of privacy and not enough eyes there to judge me and my disgusting ass. I'm gonna do more blush. So we drive over to Robert's aunt's house. Keep in mind, like these places are not like super close to each other. So the beach from Robert's house where he came from is like 25 to half an hour. And then the beach to Robert's grandma's house is like half an hour to 40 minutes. And then Robert's grandma's house to Robert's aunt's house is like 20 minutes. So he's just been driving me around all night trying to figure out what to do with me. So we get to Robert's aunt's house and She's inside. I think she's upstairs. She might be busy for a second, but Robert knows how to get in through like the gate that leads to the backyard. So we go through the gate. <laughs> the first thing I do is run to like the plant area that's in their backyard, take off my pants and my underwear and pee. I was also on my period. I took off my pad from my underwear and threw it on the ground. I'm just gonna powder my face a little bit so it's not too shiny and I'm gonna use my Revlon blurring powder. I got this from Walgreens as well. Of course, also, this is the time his aunt decides to come out to the backyard while I mid-pee with my pad on her lovely ground. I think now I was sobering up a little bit but still drunk enough to fucking take my pad off and pee on her ground. But I remember specifically her not being angry, her not judging me or even looking at me in a judging way she was just so sweet and she helped me put my pants back on and she threw my pad away and they sat me down on their backyard table and fed me goldfish and pizza they're so nice i also believe that was the second time i would met linda now we're best buddies but you know i'm surprised that didn't turn her off to me completely and never want to see me again well, i love you linda thank god for you i'm just going to contour my nose with a little bit of eyeshadow um, but yeah, that is my drunk embarrassing story in number one. Okay, so my face is done. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows as well as my second story. Um, I'm using the same eyebrow thing that I've been using in all of my makeup videos. It's just the, uh, what is it? Age Perfect Revlon Eyebrow Pencil that I got from Walgreens as well. I've actually been liking how my eyebrows turn out recently and I usually never do, so that's pretty fun. Fuck. Okay, sorry, I need to focus. Okay, and now I'm going to set it with my Anastasia brow gel. So this story, my next story, actually also takes place my sophomore year. Sorry, I'm just fixing the lighting again. This is just later on in my sophomore year. 
keep in mind I don't drink on a regular basis my sophomore year so I'm still a lightweight and I still don't know how to handle my alcohol by the time this story occurs. But um, this story takes place at a senior party because my boyfriend was a senior and so I went to a senior party being the only sophomore there. Actually, that's not true. I brought one of my friends. So I brought my friend and she was also there with me, but we were the only two sophomores there. We were the only two not seniors there. And I know it may sound like I'm, tr I, like I'm trying to portray that I was cool. I was just so nervous. I was so scared. And I, so the alcohol just kept going in me because I was like, I just need something to dull my feelings of anxiety and fear. I was sweating from every orifice of my body and I needed to get rid of that fear. Let me blend that in. Let's zoom in for the eyes now. I'm just saying, me zooming in on the eyes is very brave of me because as you guys know, my eyeshadow never comes out looking blended or good and no matter what I do, I can't fix that. So please appreciate this. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette that's also from Walgreens and I'm just gonna take this brown shade right here and just put that all over my crease. So me and my friend are just drinking away at this party and you know, soon enough, I am i don't really remember where she was at on the sobriety scale, but I was hammered off my rocker once again. I'm mingling, I'm, you know, hugging people, I'm making a fool out of myself. And the first embarrassing thing that occurs, and I remember this specifically because I heard my, I heard Robert's friend go up to him and be like, look, me and my friend were dancing in the living room with everybody around us just watching us. We were the only two dancing. We we're making a fucking fool out of ourselves. Nobody else is fucking dancing. Nobody dances at a high school party you just sit around and drink and think you're cool, but we're fucking dancing? Are you kidding me? Who do we think we are? We're dancing and everybody's fucking watching us. Like, what are they doing? Who are they? And people are going up to Robert being like, look, is she okay? I wasn't okay. Do you see what I mean? The brow bone, there's like something on it or there's something wrong with it and I can never get eyeshadow to blend in that area, ever. That's literally as good as it's gonna get for that eye. This eye is not that much better, but it's a little bit better than the other eye. So anyways, that was embarrassing moment number one. The next embarrassing moment is Robert had um, this friend back in high school. They're not really that close now, but they were like, they were in the same group. They were best friends. They'd known each other since like fucking preschool. And so I, I mean, I loved her and she was great and they were talking. I go over to them and I put my arms around both of them and I tell them how I want to have a three-way with them. What? I don't, how did I even know what a three-way three -way was? I know I'm a sophomore and I should know a lot of things right now, but I was a fucking prude. How did I know anything? How did I know what a three-way was? I'm pretty sure I thought a three-way was like sharing a meal between the three of us, okay? I put my arm around her and I was like, let's have a three-way. And then I kiss them both on the cheek and then I don't know what happens next. Okay, that's done too. Now I'm taking my Jason Wu palette that I don't know where I got it from and I'm just gonna take the really dark brown color Kind of looks Doesn't look black. Never mind. It's just really dark brown and I'm just gonna put that like in my outer corner and blend it into my crease This is where things look really messy, but I I don't care So the next embarrassing thing that happens probably the worst part I took Robert to the bathroom with me and have sex with him while people are lined up for the bathroom. This is not my house. This is one of Robert's best friend's houses. I just disrespected his house like this. I was a fucking mess. Let's just leave it at that. And now we're on to the last embarrassing thing I remember. It's the last thing I remember, but I'm pretty sure it's not the last thing that happened. So at this point, I'm crying. I'm crying a lot. I don't know what's triggered my crying, but I'm crying a lot. One of Robert's best friends takes me into um, a room. I don't, I think it was like the owner's room, but they're all best friends, so you know, nobody cares. She takes me in there and she's like trying to calm me down. She's like rubbing my back, asking if I'm okay. And I tell her the reason I'm crying is because I saw a pair of scissors in the kitchen and it reminds me of how my dad likes to chase me around the house with scissors. That's what I said. I remember that I said something about that, but then I really know that's true when the next day she told me that I said that.
Then I told her it's not true. I don't know why I said that. <sighs> so I guess when I'm drunk, I just like to slander my father. He never, no, what the fuck? Okay, and I'm just gonna take my finger and take any like light beigey color and just put it into my inner corner just so it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm not into like a super bright or white like lid or inner corner, so I never do that too aggressively. I just do it to kind of clean it up a bit. But yeah, I ended up staying the night at that house. I woke up on the couch. Um, a bunch of Robert's friends, including Robert, had also stayed the night. And everyone was just kind of confused about what I was doing there because, I mean, I was confused too, but you know. I was not really close to his friends at that point. I mean, I was super shy. I never really wanted to hang out with them because I was so shy. But now we're all like besties, but that took, what, fucking seven years to get to? So it was just an uncomfortable situation for me to have spent the night. It was an uncomfortable situation overall. But yeah, that's drunk story number two. Okay, my eyeshadow's done. I'm now going to take just a regular black eyeliner pencil and give me a little bit of a wing okay i need to focus on this part too sorry Okay, my eyeliner's done, so I'm just gonna zoom back out and finish the rest of my makeup. But now we're on to story number three. First, I'm gonna curl my eyeliner. <laughs> Stupidly enough, I'm not actually gonna be using waterproof mascara because the waterproof mascara I do have is so fucking hard to take off and I don't wanna put myself through that, so I'm not going to. If it runs, it fucking runs, whatever. The first mascara I'm gonna be using is my Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High. This one's more for length and stuff and I really like the bristles on here, let me show you. It's like one of those thinner ones, but I like it cause it helps me like separate my eyelashes and just, I can really like get in there. Okay, so this last story finally takes place at my house. That's good because if any destruction happens, only I have to pay the cost. Well, my parents, but at least it's not someone else, you know? This is my junior year now, and so Robert's graduated, but he's still involved in this story. So I threw the, I believe it was homecoming after party, which my parents didn't know about. They knew pictures and everything was at my house bef um, before the dance, so they knew like there was gonna be a shit ton of people there. I think there were like 40 people at my house for just the pictures, and then the after party, I don't even know how many people were there, but they didn't know about that. I literally covered the security cameras in my house with towels. Um, but yeah, it was at my house. Robert was there, he had graduated and he felt out of place, but he invited some of his friends, so it was okay. Um, I told myself I wasn't gonna drink, okay? I told myself that I was not going to get drunk because I wanted to take care of my house. If I was gonna have a secret party, I wanted to make sure that everything went smoothly and that there would be no destruction in my house so that I wouldn't get caught. That was my mentality and that lasted a good amount of time. So everybody's having a good time, we're all thriving, having fun, and then people start to clear out to the point where it's just like maybe 15 of my close friends plus Robert and some of his friends, so I feel a lot more like comfortable with the people around here trusting them not to ruin my house so i decide to drink okay so now i'm gonna take my shishado uh, mascara this just gives me a little bit more volume so i take a couple shots with my friends and you know after like two or three i'm i'm there you know i'm tipsy i'm having fun i'm not thinking clearly I decide that these shots are not doing the job and I need to get drunk fast because everybody is already drunk and I don't know when everyone's leaving so I need to just scoot my boot and get there. So I steal a case or a bottle or whatever you call it of Patron. I run to my laundry room and I start chugging. How I didn't die that night, how I didn't get alcohol poisoning, I don't fucking know. But I start chugging. People start running after me trying to get the bottle out of my hands and I have already downed a good amount when they get it out of my hand, but I don't know why I fucking did that, but I did that. Also, I used to call Patron patron and when I first said that out loud, I got made fun of horrendously, rightfully so, but now I know it's Patron. 
So now I'm having a good time. I'm fucking drunk. I'm hammered, if you will. My friends are actually sleeping over, so Robert was okay with leaving because I wasn't gonna be left alone in the house while I was under the strong influence. I make my way to my bed where my friends are already in my room and they tuck me in and I think I'm going to sleep. And then my drunk inner demon realizes that I'm going to bed and they're putting me in bed because Robert's leaving. So everybody's clearing out. He got everybody out of my house and yeah, my sister and her boyfriend were kind enough to help clean the house, which I really appreciate, but anyways. So then, um, he's leaving. My inner demon realizes he's leaving. I bolted out of bed, I run out my front door, he's already halfway to his car, and I kick over all the side, all the street, all the side, all the street trash cans. I kick them all over, things start spilling out. Robert's like, what the fuck was that? He chases me back in the house. I get back into bed, act like nothing happened. My friends are super tired and they're drunk, so they're falling asleep quickly. I get out of my bed to where I see my sister and her boyfriend washing dishes, which again, so fucking kind of them. And I start crying and start hugging them. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just start crying. My friends hear me crying. They bring me back into bed. I try to go to sleep. No. Um. Next thing I know, I'm breaking plates. Yeah, I don't know why. I was the one that was concerned about destruction happening in my house, yet I'm the one causing destruction in my own house. I'm breaking fucking plates. My friends don't know what to do with me at this point. They call Robert, he comes back. Whew. I'm just gonna smoke out my um, under eye a little bit with just the brown that I used in my crease. So when Robert gets back, he sees all the broken glass, he cleans it, gets me back into bed and leaves again. And honestly, now that I'm telling the story, it's really not that embarrassing. I mean, it's really bad and it's unfortunate and I'm stupid and I feel sorry for anybody who had to be around me. But compared to the last two, it's really not that embarrassing. Um, but that's the end of that story. I want to reassure everybody that after my sophomore and junior year, I was a lot more responsible with my drinking. Not even that, like I could get drunk and I still know how to handle my alcohol now. So it just took a couple years of really intense experiences to get to the point where I am today where I'm just a fun drunk. I'm gonna take some brown eyeliner now and do something with it to my lower lash line. Okay, I always do this thing where I put something in my lower lash line and then I hate how much it closes my eyes up. So then I like smudge it away so that there's still some on like the lower lash line but it's not in the water line as much. So then I can put on a white eyeliner and open my eyes back up. Why I don't just put the white eyeliner in my water line and just smudge out something on the lash line, I don't know, but this is just how I do it. So my eyes are done, and now the last thing I'm gonna do is my lips. So, of course I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, in Intense. There we go. But yeah, as I was saying, like just this weekend, like two days ago, we went to SantaCon in San Francisco and that's an all day drinking event. So I was drinking from like 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. when I left and I was fine, like I was having a great time. I just learned how to manage drinking. Like you have to drink water, you have to eat. I take Pepsi, like I just know how to do it now. It just took two years of like being a fucking wreck to realize that I don't wanna go down that path. And as you guys know, I don't like to like do my lips too organized and too neat because I mean, <sighs> I have big lips, right? And I know like a lot of people say I'm lucky for it, but sometimes I feel like it's just like everything like ugh, it's that saying, you want what you don't have. Like when I have these big lips, that's that, that sounded weird. When I have since I have what the fuck am I saying? Since I have big lips, sometimes I feel like they're just annoying and I don't like them that much. And when I was younger, everybody always pointed them out and I was so insecure about them. I always wanted a lip reduction. I would like put um, concealer on my lips to close them up. I hated my lips and I've grown to love them, but I don't love bringing too much attention to them because I feel like they just don't need the assistance. So I don't really organize like my lip liner. I just put it in for some I guess some dimension, but then I always blend it out to where it's like just a shadow. Um, and then I'm gonna put on this like 
this nude sort of lipstick. It's in the shade Naked Dare. Looks like that. It's um, Maybelline in New York. And if you guys thought that, that those were the only drunk, embarrassing stories I have, you're so wrong. Like, even though I learned how to handle my alcohol, that doesn't mean that, like, I'm not still me. You know what I mean? And then I'm just going to end this with a little bit of lip gloss. And I'm done. So, yeah. Maybe one day I'll share the rest of my drunk stories with you guys. But for today, that will be all. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like my makeup. I hope you drink responsibly and carefully and have a great day guys. Bye, love you.